the buzz is starting back up for the ODU football team. They're headed back to their first bowl game since 2016. Brian Smith tells us how they're reacting to finding out that it's official. Brian. Oh, Jan, David, it's hard to believe how this was even possible less than two months ago. Remember Old Dominion? They had dropped five in a row. They were one in six. Talk about night and day. The Monarchs proceeded to roll off five in a row to finish the regular season. And now they're headed to the Myrtle Beach Bowl in Conway, South Carolina. Oh, to be six and six. That says a lot about their head coach, Ricky Ronnie, as well as his players. He got the news from athletic director, Dr. Wood Selick, in a unique way. I intentionally FaceTimed Ricky because I knew he was waiting for the, the decision. Where are we going to go? And I caught him on a walk around LR Hill. And I said, hey, congratulations. We're going to Myrtle Beach. And his face just broke into a huge grin. And he goes, oh, that's fantastic news. I have the team inside LR Hill right now. I'm going to walk in and tell them this morning. And Selig also noted that this particular bowl game compared to the first in the Bahamas five years ago would be a realtor's dream. You know the term, location, location, location. It's Myrtle Beach just being five hours away. Uh, you don't need to get on a plane. You can hop in a car, hop in a van, take a bus. And I hope we do thousands and thousands. My personal goal would be to see between 7,500 and 10,000 ODU fans. I think they'd be pretty happy about it. Now, coming up in sports at 6 p.m., how Dr. Selig described the Monarch's journey, it was something that maybe you'd see out of one of those famous movies involving the mouse, you know, Mickey Mouse. Brian Smith, 13 <laughs> News Now.